Praise the Lord. According to one year Bible reading plan, day 269, we have Hosea chapter 5 to 7. Hosea chapter 5. Listen to this, you priests. Pay attention, people of Israel. Listen, you that belong to the royal family. You are supposed to judge with justice, so judgment will fall on you. You have become a trap at Mizpah and a net spread on Mount Tabor, a deep pit at Acacia City, and I will punish all of you. I know what Israel is like. She cannot hide from me. She has been unfaithful and her people are unfit to worship me. The evil that the people have done keeps them from returning to their God. Idolatry has a powerful hold on them and they do not acknowledge the Lord. The arrogance of the people of Israel cries out against them. Their sins make them stumble and fall and the people of Judah fall with them. They take their sheep and cattle to offer as sacrifices to the Lord. But it does them no good. They cannot find him, for he has left them. They have been unfaithful to the Lord. Their children do not belong to him. So now they and their lands will soon be destroyed. Blow the war trumpets in Gibeah. Sound the alarm in Ramah. Raise the war cry at Bethavin. In battle, men of Benjamin, the day of punishment is coming and Israel will be ruined. People of Israel, this will surely happen. The Lord says, I am angry because the leaders of Judah have invaded Israel and stolen land from her. So I will pour out my punishment on them like a flood. Israel is suffering oppression. She has lost land that was rightfully hers because she insisted on going for help to those who had none to give. I will bring destruction on Israel and ruin on the people of Judah. When Israel saw how sick she was and when Judah saw her own wounds, then Israel went to Assyria to ask the great emperor for help, but he could not cure them or heal their wounds. I will attack the people of Israel and Judah like a lion. I myself will tear them to pieces and then leave them. When I drag them off, no one will be able to save them. I will abandon my people until they have suffered enough for their sins and come looking for me. Perhaps in their suffering they will try to find me. Hosea chapter 6 the people say, Let's return to the Lord. He has hurt us, but He will be sure to heal us. He has wounded us, but He will bandage our wounds, won't He? In two or three days, He will revive us and we will live in His presence. Let us try to know the Lord. He will come to us as surely as the day dawns, as surely as the spring rains fall upon the earth. But the Lord says, Israel and Judah, what am I going to do with you? Your love for me disappears as quickly as morning mist. It is like dew that vanishes early in the day. That is why I have sent my prophets to you with my messages of judgment and destruction. What I want from you is plain and clear. I want your constant love, not your animal sacrifices. I would rather have my people know me than burn offerings to me. But as soon as they entered the land of Adam, they broke the covenant I had made with them. Gilead is a city full of evil people and murderers. The priests are like a gang of robbers who wait to ambush for someone. Even on the road to the holy place at Shechem, they commit murder. And they do all this evil deliberately. I have seen a horrible thing in Israel. My people have defiled themselves by worshipping idols. And as for you, my people of Judah, I have set a time to punish you also for what you are doing. Hosea chapter 7 Whenever I want to heal my people, Israel, and make them prosperous again, all I can see is their wickedness and the evil they do. They cheat one another, they break into houses and steal, they rob people in the streets. It never enters their heads that I will remember all this evil, but their sins surround them, and I cannot avoid seeing them. The Lord says, People deceive the king and his officers by their evil plots. They are all treacherous and disloyal. Their hatred smolders like the fire in an oven, which is not stirred by the baker until the dough is ready to bake. On the day of the king's celebration, they made the king and his officials drunk and foolish with wine. Yes, they burned like an oven with their plotting. All night their anger smoldered, and in the morning it burst into flames. In the heat of their anger they murdered their rulers. Their kings have been assassinated one after another, but no one prays to me for help. The Lord says, People of Israel are like a half-baked loaf of bread. They rely on the nations around them. 
and do not realize that this reliance on foreigners has robbed them of their strength. Their days are numbered, but they don't even know it. The arrogance of the people of Israel cries out against them. In spite of everything that has happened, they have not returned to me, the Lord their God. Israel flits around like a silly pigeon. First her people call on Egypt for help, and then they run to Assyria. But I will spread out a net and catch them like birds as they go by. I will punish them for the evil they have done. They are doomed. They have left me and rebelled against me. They will be destroyed. I wanted to save them, but their worship of me was false. They have not prayed to me sincerely, but instead they throw themselves down and wail as the heathen do. When they pray for grain and wine, they gash themselves like pagans. What rebels they are! Even though I was the one who brought them up and made them strong, they plotted against me. They keep on turning away from me to a God that is powerless. They are as unreliable as a crooked bow, because their leaders talk arrogantly. They will die a violent death, and the Egyptians will love. May the Lord bless us abundantly, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.